so we have here cross product of vector and the first part it is orthogonal unit vector see when we talk about unit vectors in this cartesian coordinate along the x direction i it is to be considered as a unit vector unit vector is only having direction this represent only direction and its magnitude is to be considered as a one and it is having some symbol like that i and having cap someone has given a cap to i j and k so i it is unit vector along x axis j it is unit vector along y axis and k it is unit ve vector along z axis see this i j and k represents its direction now let's resolve this unit vectors first if we vector unit vector i multiply by i it is a cross product so we know that it's a magnitude or you can say product become i mode i multiply by sine theta and let's have direction let us direction forget the direction first i that means unit vector and unit vectors are having magnitude one again i multiply by one now the theta that means angle between i with i so angle with i and i that means both are at the same angle and therefore theta is equal to zero degree and therefore sine zero it is zero therefore entire equation becomes zero therefore entire equation becomes zero so sine zero is zero forget about direction if it is a zero vector then there is no direction is required to consider so therefore i product i i cross i it becomes zero see we have seen a similar case when there was a i dot i and in that case it was one opposite to zero zero right so in the dot product and cross product majorly they function opposite similarly we can derive for the j dot j so we know that j cross j is equal to mode of j multiplied by mode of j sine theta and the end direction and this is angle with j that when theta becomes zero and sine theta becomes zero therefore j cross j it is zero and similarly similarly for the k cross k let's have cap so angle of k to k again it is zero so uh, sine theta becomes zero and therefore k and k also become zero right if you see we have seen this case i dot i is one j dot j is also one and k dot k is also one in case of dot products now next is if we take product of i that is i with respect to j so if we take i cross j so is equal to we know that mode i mode j multiply by sine theta and and direction let's see and direction what is so see angle between i and j we know that that become 90 degree and therefore i is equal to 1 j mode is 1 and sine 90 with some direction with some direction and what is sine 90 sine 90 is also 1 therefore i cross j is equal to mode n it becomes mode n now here to identify the direction of n we required our right hand so take your right hand and the, this finger index finger it should be in the direction of if we are finding i cross j so that index finger index finger that should be in the direction of i or we can say in the direction of x because i represent x direction and a middle finger do not show middle finger to anyone but here we have to show middle finger 
टू वाई डायरेक्शन तो दिस इज वाई डायरेक्शन मीन जे एंड जे रिप्रेजेंटिंग वाई डायरेक्शन वाई डायरेक्शन so in this case this thumb thumb is going in this direction thumb presents n direction means it's a cross product vector it is represented by thumb so thumb direction it is showing what it is showing direction z and z it is presenting k vector and therefore n n cap it become k vector n cap become k vector as per right hand rule as per right hand rule so i is 1 j is 1 sin 90 is 1 and n cap become k cap therefore i cross j become k cap it is very simple it is right hand side rule then next is let us consider another one j cross k see j cross k we are taking its order is important first j is coming first j is coming so what we have to do we have to take again our right hand and this index finger should go in the direction of j or we can say j is showing y axis and the first finger first finger should be in the direction of k first finger should be in the direction of k so it is going in this direction k along z axis and here the thumb this thumb is showing thumb is showing direction of the resultant n vector and is equal to i is equal to i which is showing x direction therefore therefore here this resultant vector become i j is 1 k is 1 Sine ninety is also one. We know that angle between J and K is ninety degree because x, y, z all are mutually perpendicular to each other, and therefore J cross K become I. J cross K becomes I. And similarly, we can derive relation between K and I. K and I both are perpendicular to each other. You take your right hand, do it your yourself, and yes, you are posting your video. or your solution for this k cross i are you getting the similar result or not let me know see here if you just want to have a simplified version for that every time we do not to go for a right hand and to find axis it is very simple you just draw a circle which is first i then put an arrow then j then k here we are moving from i to j so we can show i cross j is equal to the third one third one that is k that is k so we can see here similar we already derived in this case for the next one if you move from j to k in the same direction means j cross k see first is coming j and second is coming k right so next equal is become i cap equal is become i cap so we have seen this one also here and for the third case for the third case k cross i so first k then i is equal to is equal to j right so from the circle this circle we can identify solutions easily see here if we opposite directional movement is taken say for example say for example if you are taking all of this direction opposite first if we take j cross i see direction is very important when we talk about cross product so we are moving from j to i in the opposite direction so we are getting here k but here k is minus k if you move in the opposite direction so we are getting negative result similar for the k for the k if you move from k to j so we got i so k cross j we are running in the opposite direction so is equal to minus i Minus i, and 
for the last i k let's see is i k if you see the direction which is opposite rotating so i cross k is equal to minus j i cross k is equal to minus j so this is very simple method to remember right this is very simple method to remember this part now let us first understand various properties of cross product of a two vector see first property it is very well known to us if this is say for example our vector a and this is vector number b so its resultant vector right it resultant vector because of a cross b it is always perpendicular to both a and b this is always perpendicular to both a and b and we know that that is n cap it may be upper direction or maybe in the opposite direction that we can get from right hand that we can get from right hand so first property it shows that right a vector product of two vector is always perpendicular to plane containing two vector right so it is always perpendicular to this plane it is very well known second is non commutative property what is meaning of non commutative property what is mentioned order of matrix is important we have to follow order that means see a cross b if you put a cross b is equal to b cross a so that statement is incorrect in the case of in the case of two vector cross product two vector cross product right we have studied other than normal calculation other than this vector so we know that a multiplied by b is equal to b multiplied by a but here it is not applicable when it is a cross product reason is that what is the reason behind that because it become a cross b is equal to minus b cross a the reason is that a cross b is equal to a b sin theta this portion is magnitude is okay there is no problem with magnitude but here the direction matter when we talk about a bar b bar its resultant is perpendicular to n bar when we take a cross b but if we take opposite one b cross a <coughs> direction flips right so therefore a bar this is n bar is not equal if we take b cross a if we take b cross a that become negative that become negative magnitude is equal but the direction is opposite direction is opposite in this case therefore this cross product of vector is not equal and therefore this property is known as non commutative property second is distributive property how the products are getting distributed like that order of vector is strictly mentioned say for example if it is a cross b plus c example is given a here cross product is given b plus c yes we can have a cross b plus a cross c but we cannot write b cross a plus c cross a we have to follow strictly its order so yes of course it is having distributive property but here order order has to be mention exactly in the same manner which is mentioned next is a scalar multiplication product if you multiply the product vector with a scalar so say for example a is multiplied by this scalar x and b vector it is having multiplication with scalar unit y scalar it is not having any direction it is just having magnitude so ultimately we can both the x and y we can throw them out we can have a product of x cross y x multiplied by y that is for the scalar it is no dot or no cross product both are equal and we can write a cross b similar if it is having some constant say for example a a bar cross 
B B bar cross C C bar A B C if we see the constant so we can write A multiplied by B multiplied by C and we can write A bar cross B bar cross C bar this is possible this is very well possible if you observe this result so if you may compare this with matrices matrices possess the similar property there is no change in the property of matrices if we compare with this let's move parallel property parallel property means what if mat we can say a and b these are two vectors are having zero degree angle if a and b both are having zero degree angle so we know that ultimately it's a product is a multiplication of this two and it produces area it produces area if there is no area that means its answer is zero its product is zero right and we can see here also sine theta sine zero is equal to zero if it is 180 then also it is zero and therefore if it is mentioned that vectors are vectors are parallel therefore act a cross b vector a cross vector b it is always zero see there are so, so many examples you will find based on this rules and therefore these rules are very much important in the examination of jwe neat you will find this kind of rules and the last property it is orthogonal orthogonal you will see many a time orthogonal that means it is just showing a perpendicularity orthogonality that means 90 degree property 90 degree property it is showing 90 degree property so here if you talk about two plans a and b and here mentioning that this angle if it is 90 degree then what then what see so we know that it gives sine theta and if it is sine 90 degree if it is sine 90 degree we know that sine 90 is equal to 1 so we know that this sine 90 is 1 that become 1 and therefore a cross b a cross b it gives a maximum a mod b mod its maximum value can be achieved when vector is orthogonal vectors are orthogonal that means it is making 90 degree angle and a cross b is equal to a b if you see here if you remember for the parallelity a dot b it was it was maximum means mode a mode b dot right and when there was a both are parallel and a dot b is equal to zero when both are perpendicular so you can see here there is an exact opposite property it is having exactly opposite property when we talk about dot product here we are getting exactly the opposite property see these properties are very much important to solve various questions and in the neat and JWE examination when you are talking about physics the questions are tricky always and people lose maximum marks in the physics section and the reason is that because questions are tricky two and three different concepts are merged and the new examples are created if you don't understand the concepts these are the small concepts right thoroughly then definitely you are going to lose marks but stay with me we will not lose any mark now let us have two examples see solving example is the best method solving various example is the best method to crack this kind of examination to understand a particular topic so here a is given a is equal to i minus 2j plus 4k and b is given 2i minus j plus 4k so if we want to solve this what we require this is our first value multiply by this first value multiply by second first value multiply by third so a b cross the first one is i multiply by 2i that become 2i cross i second is i multiply by minus j so minus 1i cross j see i that is the first letter coming to so i cross i i cross j and i cross k see 
sequence is very much important sequence is very much important then next one 2j multiplied by first one second and third so become 2j multiplied by 2i become minus 4j i direction we have to take right second is minus 2j multiplied by minus 1 so become 2j j and minus 2 multiplied by plus 2 so become 4 j k and the last one and the last one let us take last one that is a 4 k plus 4 k so multiply 4 k with 2 i 4 k with minus j and 2 k so 4 k multiplied by 2 become 8 k over 5 because it is first is coming k so k cross i second is 4 multiplied by minus 1 so minus 4 k cross j and the last one is 4 k multiplied by 2 k so it is 8 cross a so here we have to have knowledge of that when we multiply by k cross k or i cross i or j cross j it becomes zero it is zero it is zero very opposite to the dot product so here this is zero this becomes zero this becomes zero it is not required here then we know that we have knowledge of circle i then j then k and again moving to i so i cross j is equal to k j cross k is equal to i and k k cross i is equal to j but if we move in the opposite direction if you move in the opposite direction so here j cross i is equal to minus k similar k cross j is equal to minus i and i cross k is equal to minus k we need to put this all values here and therefore we require so then i j then become k i k i k i k is here so it become minus j similar you can put for j i for j i j i it is minus k j k j k is become i k i k i k i k i k i k i k i k i k i k i k i k i k i k i k i k i k i k i is equal to j right k i is j and next is k j k j k j i that become minus i minus i so you are ready to put this all the values and just find the solution a cross b is equal to 10 j plus 5 k seems difficult yeah, it is taking too much time so go for vector vector is very simple to represent this equation and you should go for vector for a simple solution suppose a cross b if it is given so what we should do we should take first row i j k first row i j k and then next here that is first a that is 1 minus 2 4 put here 1 minus 2 4 and this is the third row it is showing b that is 2 minus 1 2 put this value here put this value here and let's solve let's solve this vector so to solve this vector what we need we start with i so hide this row and column and then multiply minus 2 with 2 minus 2 with 2 then minus in bracket minus 1 minus 4 so become minus 4 similar similar j so then next is minus minus j in bracket hide this row and column then multiply 1 with 2 so that gives us 2 minus multiply 3 with 4 so it become 2. plus k plus we have here k so k in bracket hide this to cross 
वन माइनस वन सो बिकम माइनस वन माइनस इन ब्रैकेट थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय माइनस टू बिकम माइनस सिक्स सिंप्लीफाई दिस सिंप्लीफाई दिस यू विल हैव सॉल्यूशन सिंप्लीफाई दिस यू विल हैव योर सॉल्यूशन सो आई इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर माइनस इन ब्रैकेट माइनस फोर यू कैन गेट लाइक दैट रिजोल दिस बिकम जीरो आई प्लस टेन जे प्लस फाइव के सो दिस इज अवर solution this is our solution very simple when we go with matrices so a cross b is equal to 10 j plus 5 k zero of i is not having any value that for we can remove this one easily then example number 22 find a cross b if a is equal to 2 i plus 3 j plus 4 k And b is equal to three i plus two j plus three k. Let's put here a is equal to two i plus three j plus four k. B is equal to two i plus two j plus three k. We can put here. What next? Matrices. Put a is equal to two three four. Two three four here. B is equal to three two and three here. Now what next? What next? I So I is here. Add this row and column. Three multiplied by three become nine. Minus minus four multiplied by two become eight. Minus four multiplied by two become eight. Now next is minus j. Minus j. Add this row and columns. Two multiplied by three. Two multiplied by three become six. Three multiplied by four become twelve. Similar k, similar is for k. Hide this row and columns. Two multiplied by two four, and three multiplied by three. That become minus nine. This is very simple. Solve that. That is the answer. Solve that. That become answer. So i plus six j minus five k. That is that is our answer. Let's solve one more. Example number twenty three. determine the magnitude and direction cosine of the resultant vector so we need to here get magnitude as well as direction so for that first this is a is given 4i plus j minus k and b is given 3i plus 2j plus k i think you should pause the video here and first you should find it's a product a cross b we know that a cross b is equal to Put i j k value of a four one minus one value of b three two and one. See you cannot reverse or you can say you cannot uh, change this matrix. The right answer will be wrong. I for the first i multiply one multiply by one minus minus become plus and that is a two multiply by minus one become two. Second is minus j minus j. Add this row and column. Four multiplied by one become four. Minus minus become plus three. So four plus three. And the last one is k. So hide this two. Hide this two. Four multiplied by two become eight and minus three. We may simplify this here. So finally we get three i minus seven j plus five. K that is the solution. Now we need we need magnitude. That means we need to have square of three that become nine plus minus seven square become forty nine and five square become twenty five. Solution is nine point one one zero. But here we also need its angle. Its angle. So we know that a cross b is equal to a b sine theta. That we know. How it works? Here we need a sine theta, so we can take sine theta aside. So sine theta is equal to mod a cross b. That answer we already have. But now we need to find answer for mod a and mod b. These two answers are required to get. And how? Again, take mod a. So here it is four square sixteen. One square and one square ultimately become root eighteen, and it is four point two three. 
and similar for mode b we get 3 multiplied by 3 become 9 plus 2 multiplied by 2 become 4 and plus 1 so ultimately it is root 14 you can get 3.74 as an answer put these all the values in the above equation and you will get sin theta is equal to 9.11 divided by 4.23 multiplied by 3.74 and answer is theta is 35 theta is 35 so is it it's a very simple question let's go to another one if a bar is equal to 5 b bar is 6 and a bar cross b bar is equal to 15 direct answers are given find the angle of a cross b in the examination you will be having four four options so you can find out one out of it so sine theta is equal to product of that is given 15 a cross b is also given we can solve this so ultimately sine theta is equal to one half we know this answer this is very simple and what about sine theta one half so it is sine 30 degree it gives sin 30 degree sometimes you will have very simple question also or simple questions build the basics we should start from simple examples and then we should move towards difficult one and then example number 25 here a cross b is equal to a dot b you may ask that is it possible yes of course it is possible let's solve this do we know a cross b yes a cross b is equal to a b sin theta and a dot b is equal to a b cos theta so it is given a cross b is equal to a dot b let's put the values of a cross b here and a dot b here so what happened a cross b sin theta is equal to a b cos theta let's cancel out this so sin theta is equal to cos theta and ultimately sin theta by cos theta become 1 sin theta divided by cos theta that become 1 so it is 10 theta and when 10 theta is 1 answer me 45 yes 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 answer is correct answer is correct so this kind of question you may find the examination also and let's have another question if a is equal to 2i plus j plus 3 can b is equal to i plus 3j plus 4 can it is given here a dot a cross b see whenever you find a such kind of question do not directly go for a solution just think about that a cross b so this a cross b that means what say for example this is a this is b and let us assume some value of its cross product when its cross product let us say c so what is c is equal to a cross b which is always perpendicular to this a and b that means perpendicular to a and b and if you see this question so it is asked that this a cross b we assume that it is c and that is c is showing here this is c so a dot c so both are having both are having 90 degree and when we know that a dot c orthogonal property a dot c orthogonal property when there is an orthogonal property right so it is having cos 90 degree and therefore a dot c becomes 0 a dot c becomes 0 no calculation is required for such kind of equations whenever you see right so c a cross b the cross product of resultant vector is perpendicular to base vector we already seen this is a bar b bar and the resultant vector is always perpendicular to this maybe opposite side it can is also possible and this is c assume c is equal to a cross b and c and a both are making 90 degree angle and because of orthogonality property we know that dot product of orthogonality means angle is 90 degree and therefore a dot b is equal to 0 and final answer is 0 final answer is zero so do not go and do not uh, construct your matrix first check for this possibility you will find maximum time this kind of possibility so you should save your time for the other questions some of the questions are given that you should do by yourself question number seven a is equal to i plus two j 
plus 3k d is equal to 2i plus k and c is equal to this and a dot b cross c this data is given you solve this and comment me your answer like that question number seven answer it is this or you may uh, comment the full method also and question number eight a dot b is equal to zero b a dot c is equal to zero then a is parallel to this solution so which one is the correct one this two are you need to solve by yourself and comment me your answer do not google your question definitely you will find your answer on google but you will never learn learning is only possible when you do when you try by yourself and you comment your answer or method full method in the comment box so thank you for watching physics doctor my name is dr ganshyam tejani you may subscribe my channel we will complete the full course of JWE and NEET. Stay with me. Thank you, everyone.